Alina of Makina versus Chen Wen Zhang is the second match for these ladies at the WTA Finals of 2024. And both players need a rebound after a disappointing first match. Alina of Makina enters the tournament as number five in the world and has only ever played this tournament once. That was last year where she couldn't get out of the round robin stage, but she did lose a deciding match to Sabalenka. And had she had won that match, she would have gone into the semis. So a little bit unlucky last time. Her record this year is 41 wins, nine losses. And that's pretty impressive considering she hasn't played that much. And that also includes three titles on the season as well. Her best win was against Igish Fiontek earlier in the year on the clay courts of Stuttgart. However, her worst loss was actually at the very start of the year in Australia, where she lost a blink of her in a shock result early in that tournament. Her form lately hasn't been good. We haven't seen much of her since playing at Wimbledon due to a lot of off-court stuff and injuries as well. She's kind of coming in here untested because we haven't seen her play that many matches. Zhang enters the WTA Finals as number seven in the world, and it's actually her first time entering the WTA Finals, so she is debuting at this tournament. She's had a really good season, 47 wins and 16 losses on the year, which included three titles, including, of course, the gold medal at the Olympics, and that was where she got her best win, beating Igish Fiontek on the clay of Roland Garros, which hadn't been done for a long time. But her worst loss actually came a couple weeks earlier on the grass of Wimbledon to Sun, who beat her early in the tournament. Her form has been great. She won a tournament last week, and she's one of only a couple of players that are coming into this tournament on a winning streak. These two have played twice before, with Rebecca winning both matches. However, they haven't played in over a year, last time being in Beijing last year. And we all know that Zhang in 2024 has been so much better than previous seasons. So it's going to be really interesting to see how Rebecca can deal with this new version of Zhang. If Zhang's gonna win this one. She's gonna have to do a lot better than she did against Sabalenka. Of course, she has a terrible record against Sabalenka and maybe a little bit of mental scarring as well because of the intimidation that Sabalenka brings. Rebecca has also got intimidation, but not in the same way as Sabalenka, especially right now with Rebecca not playing that much. So Zhang, great opportunity here to get on the board at the WTA Finals. If Rebecca's gonna win this one. She needs to make sure she limits the errors. She hit like 50-something errors against Paolini. Now, we do know that Paolini's the most defensive player on the tour, or at least the best defender on tour right now, but Zhang's not gonna be able to do that as much. So Rebecca's shots should be able to get through Zhang a little bit better, but she has to limit those errors. This is a crucial matchup because the winner of this match keeps their hopes alive of making the semifinals. A loser, probably out of the tournament. I have to go with Zhang in this one in a close three setter. I reckon it's going to be a bit of a serve off, a bit of an ace off with a couple of big servers, probably the two best servers on the planet. Maybe you can put Sabalinka in there as well, but I'm going to have to go with Zhang in this one in a close three setter. But let me know down in the comments below who's winning this match.